I think you have a responsibility as a public leader when you see a problem of this magnitude to take responsibility for a solution. And that starts with legislative advocacy, which I certainly intend to do, and this, uh, uh, this session today really kicks that off. So I think the first necessary step has to be at the legislature. That's where laws are made. That's where people need to be accountable for the rules under which we engage. But failing that, I believe the urgency is so great that we have to take the next step, and that's in the hands of the citizens of Arizona. And I see nothing contradictory. I've said I wouldn't, I wouldn't be the chairman of a presidential uh, campaign in Arizona, that I wouldn't endorse political candidates. I don't think anything in that statement prohibits me from resolutely taking an initiative which deals directly with the responsibilities of the Secretary of State. It is job related, it is critically important, and I don't see any contradiction at all. I'm Bruce Wheeler, State Representative from Tucson, LD10. I want to commend Terry Goddard for giving this legislation some thought, serious thought and consideration for us to introduce in this next legislative session. And everyone here is dedicated to that introduction and fighting for that legislation in the interests of transparency and accountability. What is at stake is our very democratic institution of voting and knowing who is behind the money in elections in the state. Openness, transparency, and accountability. With dark money, you don't have that. And it's obvious the dark money is um, from out-of-state sources because they are taking individuals who have been public servants in this state for 20 years or more and telling the public to be afraid of them and afraid of the policies that they've adopted based on their experience here. We can't answer the question, what do they want for their money? And if we can't answer the question, what do they want for their money, there's something very wrong and something unfair about the dark money cycle that we're living through in Arizona. I want to put an end to it. What Terry Goddard has put forward for us today has um, very clear uh, requirements in it, and it goes a long way to getting us the answers to those questions. What do they want for this dark money that they're spending? What I think Terry is very wisely suggesting is something that the Arizona Republic did several years ago. When people posting comments on their websites could hide their names and not be transparent, you saw a vitriolic level of, it couldn't even be called debate, and they were smart enough to force folks who wanted to post on this newspaper and others, I suppose, uh, to show folks their name, tie their name to a social media network. And you saw a marked difference in the debate thereafter. That's all this is. It's very simple, and it creates accountability and transparency. And, and I'm glad that Terry's uh, working to do that, and I look forward to helping him. We talk to tens of thousands of voters um, in my campaign. Um, and many of them um, have just brought this up as an issue and they'd like to see changes. They're tired of the negative ads that they can't tell where they're coming from and they don't know who to trust at this point. And I personally would like to see that change and, and they definitely would. If you refuse to disclose your donors, you need to say on all your ads that they were paid for by an organization that refuses to disclose its donors. I think that sends a very, very powerful message. But it's not the end of the story. I want to make that very clear. I propose that simply as a short-term alternative. In the long run, what Arizona needs is a registration program, demands the original contributor, and has the audit power to back it up.